first just getting some basic measurements. Uh, symmetry is good, but we'll just measure the base itself. 27. And again, very um, typical, no major issues that stand out to me. Okay. So we'll get the full circumference of the wrist. And then we'll just measure Bone is, it's right in the middle. Okay. So again, this might just take a little bit of time. It's your first time in, so just relax and let me know if anything's bothering you. Okay. Would you say this is the typical nail length you have? Yes. Okay. Is it ever longer than this? Would you like us to allocate any space? No, I always have short nails. Perfect. I'm just gonna get the knuckle on each finger now. Now this first joint. I'm going to go around the fingers now, and I'm going to measure just in two places, first at the base here, um, then at the knuckle, and then I'll get actually the uh, fingernail as well, so three spots. And do you generally wear any rings on either hand? I normally wear a ring on my left ring finger. Okay, so we'll measure that with that in mind on that side. get just below that so um, would you mind just lifting your hair up for me thank you 
and back up. Okay. Just going to get from the uh, chin down, so just relax. Same thing on this side. Not symmetrical. I'm going to get down the front. And do you plan on having um, a bow tie, a tie? Do you have um, an idea? I haven't quite decided, but okay. one of them. I'm definitely going to wear something to enclose the mm -hmm. neck. So then I'm just going to get right here as well. Okay, is it an evening event or a daytime event? Um, it's like middle of the day, middle into the, day. the evening. Into the evening, okay. So want something that can um, maybe be a little bit more uh, relaxed while also dressing up formal with um, some maybe a, a pocket square tie, something like that. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, that sounds really nice. I'm going to get the shoulders here. Let's see on that side. Just about a centimeter. I'm shorter on the right side. And get across the back. I'd like you to stand up and I'm going to just check a couple of those measurements just across the back here while you're standing and we do this to make sure that the um, suit will be comfortable both when you're a little bit more relaxed and um, when you're standing a little bit more open so get across the front Would you mind just holding this right here? I'm going to drop it down and I'm looking for finger length here. Okay. Just stay where you are. I'm going to go from the shoulder down here to just about a couple centimeters past the wrist. And that's left. Have you just raise this slightly? I'm going to get a few circumferences around the arm itself, uh, starting first with this shoulder. Okay, and then the bicep. And could you um, move your arm just like that, exactly, just to have the uh, largest extension of the arm here? Thank you very much. And I'll just make my way down here. Just relax. Twenty-four. Seventeen. And do the same thing on the other side. So again, starting with the shoulder. And relax. And again, make that shape for me. And relax down. I'm going to get the elbow, 27, and 17. And those are actually very symmetrical side to side as well. I'm going to get uh, just underneath the chest line here. So if you lift your arms for me. 
as well as above. All right. I'm going to get the waist and then the hips. So come on again. And then uh, just point where your hips are underneath the shirt here. Okay, thank you. All right, perfect. Would you mind just turning around for me, please, Jeremy? I'm just gonna get a couple on the back. down. Same thing on the side. I'm going to get around just under the arm here. And then same sort of areas just from the back only. So I think the measurements are actually a smidge smaller than what we have on file currently, so I'm glad we're doing a second fitting. Um, go ahead and turn back around for me. And I'm just going to take a look at the lower half of the body, okay? Um, so I will have you sit again um, just for a moment, and I'll do this, um, the measurements seated, and then I'll have you stand, and I'll do them standing, okay? All right, so I'm going to um, take some measurements while you're seating, just a few, um, to make sure it's completely comfortable and doesn't bunch up too much when you're sitting down, um, but then we'll get the remainder while you're standing. So I'm first just gonna get hip to knee, and then knee to ankle. To get around the seated thigh when it's in the extended position. As well as around the knee. Okay. I want to take those same measurements on this side. So again, starting here, uh, starting from the hip rather, down to the knee. Knee to the ankle. And then the thigh. Okay. Oh, and behind the knee as well. Very good. If you please just stand for me, Jeremy. I'm just going to take the last few measurements that we need, and we'll do some um, try-ons. So again, just point to where that hip starts for me underneath the shirt here. Thank you so much. Getting a full extended. Okay, and would you hold that right at the uh, top of your inseam there? Perfect, and that's the same as what we already have on file. So I don't think you've gotten any taller since the last time we've seen you, at least. The inside for me, please. Okay. And I'll just take those measurements again while you're standing. And 
And lastly, the ankle here. ahead and have a seat. So just trying to get a general sense of symmetry side to side. Not too concerned about the length of the fingers, but rather just the evenness. Slightly longer on this side than that side. Just make sure the wrist joints are lined up here. They are, but mildly. And that's absolutely fine. I'm gonna take a wrist circumference. 16.5, and I'm going to get just above your arm a little bit here. 22, and that's the right. Okay, and I'll do the same thing on this side. I'm getting the wrist, and there is a little bit of about a one centimeter difference side to side. Um, we'll go ahead and check that one for pain to see if there's any swelling you might not have even noticed. And I just quickly have you flip your hands. I want to get across the palms. And that's pretty similar side to side. So from the top of the sock to the base of the foot. of that point. Get the ankle as well, so we can get the taper exactly right. And I'll just leave the socks on for the measuring since you will be wearing a very similar um, thickness uh, we usually do about this for a wool sock under a dress pant, um, so it's best to have the sock on when we take these measurements. Um, so again, I'm just going to take a lot of measurements, so just relax and let me know if there's any discomfort. But otherwise, I'm just going to go through one by one. across the bottom now. I apologize for any discomfort. I'm just going to grab the heel length here. The other. Okay. And lastly, just a couple of circumferences around the toes. So here at this knuckle, just 23.5. At the toes themselves, it's 20. Okay. So 
Let me just go ahead and cross check those on the other side now. Okay, again, Jeremy, just cross checking on this side so I won't make the measurements unless there's any asymmetry. There's just a little bit of difference in that ankle there. It's just 0.5 centimeters smaller, which again, that foot was bigger from our previous measurements, so that makes sense. And those are the same. Just a little smaller. Fourth toe, 20 centimeters. Fifth toe is the same. Again, making a couple of circumference here. Just from the heel first. That's the same. I'm get from the back of the heel to the front of the foot. It's just a little bit shorter. On the side, same thing. And the, the circumferences again. So back here. It's the same. Take that deep breath in one more time for me. And out. From the crown of the head to the base of the earlobe. It's 21 centimeters. Crown of the head to the base of the neck. So the chin. To the Be measuring now from the inner to the outer ear lobe here. So about five centimeters. I just want to get the arch of the ear lobe as well.
about 20 degrees. I'm going to be touching near your eye now, so I just want you to be aware of that. I'm going to be getting the crease of your eye here uh, down to the chin, and then the nose, and then the bridge of the nose, okay? So just keep them closed. Getting the cheekbone here. Just gonna feel slightly for where that dips. Right here. You're gonna feel me go all the way around the neck now, okay? A few last here on the shoulder, and then I'm going to swap to the other side. So we're just going to go from the front of the shoulder here to the back. And this is a bust, the sculpture, so we only need about there up. And just going to get across the entire back while I'm here. So shoulder to shoulder. Just from the neck down. We'll keep it about 22 centimeters consistently. How are you doing so far, Rachel? Good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move uh, to the other side. I'm gonna make all those same measurements again. So again, it is a bit of a lengthy process, but it ensures we get the absolute perfect measurements. And you're just going to feel me close to your eye here, so I just want you to be aware of that. I'm going to double check that measurement there, and that is the same. Okay. Now just the ears.
And for the most part, everything is symmetrical. Just a couple millimeters off here and there, but we'll make it absolutely perfect. So it looks the most like you. Again, I'm gonna measure that arch of that ear. And that is exactly the same. I'm going to move on to the front of the face now. I'm starting out with the chest, just going to get across the chest. Doing all right so far? Yeah, I'm doing good. Be doing the inner eye to the outer eye on both sides, okay. That is six centimeters on that side. We'll just cross check it here. And five and three quarters, just slight asymmetry there. Checking the lip, the lower first is six and a half. And the upper is seven. I'm just going to get the upper lip and lower lip as well. So that is 2.5 together. One for the top, 1.5 on the bottom. Now to the nose, just getting from the point between the eyebrows down to the tip of the nose and then the bridge. And just confirming the complete with your couple of places. So 30. Get over the eyebrows. Let's get the eyebrows themselves. Take a look at that arch as well. Do you mind just opening your eyes for just a moment? I just want to get a uh, slight open lid. And we will be nearly done. I'm so sorry. Eyelashes as well are just about a centimeter. Beautiful long eyelashes. There's just one more and it's just underneath your chin, okay? So it can be a little uncomfortable. Placing it here to here. Very good. All right. So I'm just gonna use a solid ruler for basic measurement from start to finish, and then we'll use a uh, more curved freer measurement tool to get the full shape. So from one end, right 
here to the other. It's about two and a quarter inch. Good. Move to the other side. So we've got actually about two, or closer to two and a half on the side. So this one's just a little bit longer. Let's take a look at that. Give your eyes close for me. Just don't want to hurt you. So from the corner of your eyelid to the corner of your eyebrow is about. about half an inch there and on this side and this one is only about about a, a centimeter shy of the other one so we'll want to take just a couple of these hairs off here just to even that up to have the most symmetry possible going to be doing a few inches down from the corner of your eye. Okay. That will just give us a reference point so we make sure it's the same. be drawing a little line with some some removable marker here removable makeup marker based on where that arc falls and I'm going to do the same thing on the top and that way it follows the same exact arc line. Okay. Go ahead and gently close your eyes for me, please. Close for me while I get the secondary measurement just underneath the bridge of your nose. I'm also going to take from the tip of your ear to the other tip of your ear. I'm just going to get this top of your ear to the side of your eye, where we'd want that lens to begin. I'm going to get the other side now. And get from the top to the bottom of your eye to make sure we get a lens that covers enough of your face. I'm going to measure, I'm going to see, I want to measure side to side and see if 
they're swelling. And I'll check that out across the other side too. It does feel like there is a little bit of swelling here, a little bit of edema. Doesn't feel too bad though. And it is about three millimeters more swollen than the other side on the top of the ball up there. About one millimeter more there. and about the same at the heel. I'm gonna quickly just take one last measurement inside of the shoe. Just make sure it will fit. relatively standard so I'm not worried about the orthotic fitting in the shoe however if you find it is tight I would recommend that wider shoe and trying that if it works okay. the orthotic is going to be personalized to your foot so in theory any shoe you wear it with should work because your foot will fit in your shoe go ahead and get some measurements here from uh, around the head. This is so if you have any hat needs, we can make that for you, or um, some people will get hooded things. 59 centimeters. Do you mind if I move your hair right here? That's fine. Okay. And just the crown of your head down. Top of the ear. Bottom. Crown of the head too. Go around the neck here. So I'm just going to place this very gently right at the top, and then again at the bottom. We won't make it too tight. We'll definitely always have some allocations there. I'm going to be getting the length of the neck now. Eleven centimeters. And just tilt your chin up slightly for me, thank you. Ten centimeters. I'm going to get from the chin to this ear here. And with clothing, because you are a relatively symmetrical person, um, we don't generally do both sides the way we would if we were going to be measuring you for a sculpture or something of that nature. So um, we'll double check with the calipers just to make sure there's no uh, true asymmetry, but um, you seem to be relatively symmetrical. So let me get here from the shoulder. And from the neck, top of the neck. And I'm going to just take a couple of measurements here on the arm. This is just for uh, sleeve lengths. So 14 for short. 26. And 
coming down. And we generally do about two centimeters past the wrist there, but we'll do 58 and 60. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I just look forward for me. Uh, I'm just going to uh, get now. Um, I want you to hold this um, right. Uh, I'm put it here, oh. and then I want you to hold it right here at the base of your chest, at the top of the chest area there. And you can let go of this one. Just hold it there. Yes, perfect. So that is 15 for the scoop neck. Same thing, this is gonna go around just about right here, okay? I'm just gonna move this as well so we don't get that mixed in. It's just going from shoulder circumference. Okay. And I'm gonna have you just lift your arms slightly. I'm gonna come right underneath. Top here. Very good. Relax. Would you mind just um, swinging around for me? I want to get some measurements on the back. Perfect. And I've got several back here. So first from the base of the neck to the underarm, 29. On the spine, and would you say this is about before your hips start? Yes. Okay, 44. We're going to swing this around. I want you to hold it at your navel, the level of your navel. And I'm just going to grab it underneath. Very good. And same thing there. And just hold that right there. Okay. I'm going to go around the arms as well. So lift this arm up. I'm just going to take a few places. So that is good. And right at the elbow and the wrist. Beautiful. Okay, I'm just going to have you turn very gently, just staying on the seat. Uh, Keep your, I just want to see how much movement there is, how much fabric allocation. Okay, that's fine. Um, can you uh, raise your arm um, like this and make a perfect? We just want to get the maximum bicep size here. Okay, relax. All right, Kate, I, I'm gonna have you stand up now. I'm gonna do some measurements on the lower body. So Kate, I'm gonna move down. First thing is I want you to hold this again, right at the belly button. I'm gonna get the full length of the leg. Okay, you can relax it there. I'm gonna have you hold it right at the base of the neck here as well and get a full body length. Very good. And how tall are you, would you say? I'm 5'4". Five 5'4". Four. Five four. Right, I'm just going to measure at the base of the hip. So point to the, where the hip is for me, please. Right there. Okay. Coming down first to the knee. Then to the ankle. And some circumferences as well. So I'll get the ankle first. Thank you. The knee, the calf actually. Good. And I'm just going to get right here at the middle of the thigh, okay? I'm going to have you hold it right on the base of the inseam there for me. And I'll drop it down. Okay. There. 
And would you just turn around for me, please? Thank you. And again, just confirming um, the hip is right about here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Coming down the back of the leg. And I'm just going to measure from the top here all the way down. Symmetrical side to side, no drooping, hair loss, anything like that. Just going to be measuring. See if they're even or uneven. And it looks like you're listing a little bit. The right shoulder is sitting higher than the left shoulder. I'll just look at you across the chest here. Confirming that. And having your is your head and neck natural where it would be when you're looking at the screen? Um probably. Yeah, maybe I'd probably be a little more leaned forward. Okay. Alright, so go ahead and go where you normally be. I want to get a sense of where you're currently at. So we're seeing a big dip there. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to get below your chin here to see, and again, just where your head naturally would lie. Okay, do some final measurements, see if we've made an impact. This is going to take practice, so you're going to have to do these at home mm -hmm. while you're actually in your desk chair, but you now know what it's supposed to feel like, right? Mm -hmm. Perfectly even there, very good. And checking across the chest. Finding the shoulder points here. Very good. The head here. Good. Perfect. Shrug your shoulders for me nice and high, and then drop them down all the way. Very good. I just want to get a measurement around circumference a couple of places. So you can just sit up nice and tall. I'm just going to get around your neck here, right where the Adam's apple is. I'm also going to do it right underneath your chin, all around your head. I'm going to start from the back here. Okay. Next is going to be right above, so right below your nose. Good. You get one across your forehead. And lastly, I'm just going to get one around the circumference of your chest. So that's all your measurements done. Spread them out as much as you can, exactly. And this one can relax for now. I'm just feeling for the bones in your wrists. I'm going to go ahead and measure out from that. And
I'm going to start out all from this, this source right here. Is this the typical length of your fingernails? Um, yeah, about. Okay. Maybe a little, little long actually. They're a little long today. That's actually yeah. better. That way we have a little bit more room. What we don't want to do is not allocate enough space, uh, just in case you haven't you know, maintained your nails that day. And now I'm just going to do from the other side of your wrist. Okay, same measurements. I'm going to go ahead and get the length around your wrist. So if you lift up for me, good, perfect. And go ahead and set it back down. Okay. And now I'm just going to go ahead and measure the palm of your hand from end to end. We'll just get a length from each joint here to the top of the finger. Go across the knuckles here in the main part of the hand. Okay, and now we're just going to get a circumference of each of your fingers at each joint. Okay, so for the thumb, it's going to be this top joint, this one, and a half, okay, and this one, two, of course. Can do that for all five fingers, okay? Let me know if you're in any discomfort and I can go ahead and take a break. this middle finger lift that up for me thank you so much Same good consistency as well, so that should make production easier so I don't anticipate any delays. Okay, perfect. Last thing I want to do is just go around your hand so we can lift this hand up for me and get a full circumference here. Great. Put your fingers all the way together for me closed and get a full circumference there. And then can you spread them nice and wide, as wide as they can go. Okay. I'm going to start with around your wrist. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just, if you wouldn't mind uh, resting it down a little bit, that would be great. So I can get from that wrist to each finger. 
I'm doing the other side as well, just like before. Go ahead and get across here, the fattest part of your palm. I'm also just going to get across the top there. Alright, now I need to get a measurement from the base here all the way to the top of each finger. So let's start with the thumb actually. Two and three quarters. All right, can you go ahead and squeeze your hands together? Uh, you can leave the thumb out, sorry about that. Just gonna get across the knuckles here. All right, and I wanna just get the circumference of each of your joints. Same as the other side. Thank you. there. One here, thank you. And my final measurement is just if you could lift up your hand for me and go ahead and get underneath around the full circumference of the hand. Okay. All right, I'm going to start out with some simple measurements. I'm going to get an around the ankle width. And then I'm going to get just under your heel here, if you can lift that up, perfect. I'm going to get heel to ankle. There. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and get from the back of your heel. All the way up to your toe. Big toe. Second toe. Third. Fourth. And fifth. Okay. I'm just moving to the middle of your foot now. Getting from the deepest point of the arch. Okay. Right, now I'm going to get the top Just from joint to joint. Can you go ahead and scrunch your toes like that so I can get the joint space right? Perfect, thank you. Okay, 
Um, and now I'm going to have you stand up. I'm just going to take some of those measurements standing, so step forward for me. Thank you. And this is just shift your weight to the to the front of your toes. And can you shift back to your heels as well? I'm just seeing how that weight change, the weight distribution affects. You don't want to be moving too much in the shoe, but you want to have enough flexibility. Okay, you can go back to neutral now. Okay. I'm just gonna feel around. I'm getting that ankle standing as well as just above it. All right, go ahead and sit down again. Last thing I want to do on this right side while you're at the chair is just measure the individual toes. I'm going to do that just by checking to see where the joint is here. Okay. Good. going to move around to the other side now. So you can just put this foot out and make those same measurements. Slip that underneath there for me. Thanks, put that down. Good. I'm just going to get the arch while I'm here. And then I'm going to measure from the heel up to the toe. So I'm going to slip that underneath there, right at the base of your heel. And stand up for me on this foot. Okay. And lean forward, put your weight on your toes. Good. Okay, and back to your heel. set that down to the middle, just sort of move back and forth until you find the midline, what's really comfortable there. Is that good there? Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to measure those ankles again. Okay, go ahead and sit, have a seat back down. I'm just going to do the toes. So again, just finding where that joint is. And the last thing I want to do on this side is just have you scrunch your toes up, finding that joint right there, and getting that one last measurement. Okay. All right. So I've got everything with the tape measure. Just for some final measuring, I'm just going to put this device out here. You step your foot back here. Make sure that that's nice and tight. 
after your heels back. And I'm just using this to measure the length of your arch, okay? Mm -hmm. Also checking on this side where that lines up too. I'm gonna do some basic measurements. Make sure we're symmetrical on both sides here. Shoulder to shoulder. Finding the midline of your neck. Can you bend your neck down for me? Just finding that first spine bone. Symmetrical in the shoulders, you can lift your neck up. Just feeling for the center there. just a little bit less symmetrical in the chest so we'll take a look and see if that's posture just the way your body is just looking across the face the neck and the crown of your head does that feel like the midline of your head right there mm -hmm. down to your arms and that is nice and even First thing I'm going to do is just check your natural range of motion. Just go ahead and tip your head down as far as it can go comfortably. Okay. And all the way back as far as it can go comfortably. And all the way to the side as it can. Good. And the other way. So you have very good range of motion. Again, I'm finding that center spine very good completely symmetrical there just checking the height of your shoulders as well perfect very good complete symmetry there as well just checking from the midline of your face So I want to take some initial measurements. Just look straight ahead for me. So I'm going to get from the corner of your eye here to where the glasses would sit behind your ear. Same thing on this side. It's actually a little shorter on your left side than your right. 3.8. And that's normal, not completely symmetrical ever. I get the midline here, so um, the bridge of your nose, to the back of the glasses. are about even. Okay. I'm going to do the length of the eye here. So from the top of the brow, go ahead and close your eyes just so I don't accidentally poke you. Down to the bottom. Do 
Do you normally like wider, bigger frames or smaller frames? Um, I would say medium. Medium, okay. And then I'm just gonna check the bridge of the nose here. I'm gonna get a full circumference here. Fourteen centimeters. The thumb is at 18 for the pointer. And do the same thing just to the knuckle now of each finger. Okay, and one last time just to the second knuckle here. And for um, these fingers, there is that third joint. And the reason we measure these separately is because we want to make sure the glove is moving in the correct spaces and gives you that room in the correct spaces to work with the glove. I want to get some circumferences here. I'm going to do that with a slightly different tool. Just going to go around the wrist here. And about a couple inches up here. Just make sure there's enough space and that's pretty consistent. Get side to side on the palm. And first can I have you close your fingers all the way? Okay, 14.5 centimeters closed. And can you uh, extend all the way to your max? Is that most comfortable for you? Mm -hmm. So we need about a centimeter of give there for opening and closing the hands. Um, as far as the palm goes, I'm going to do the same thing with the fingers. So again, close the fingers. 12.5. And open up as wide as you can. And max extension is about 21.25.
Okay, wonderful. Can you flip your palm for me, please? And I'm going to just get some basic measurements here as well. The hand tends to taper in a little bit. Um, so as long as that's not too dramatic, we won't make any notes for it. But we, of course, just want to um, check. So again, I'm just going to make a little bit of a mark here. Seven five interior. I'll make sure it's not no dramatic differences side to side. Can you lay your hand a little flatter for me? Yeah, perfect. And there is no dramatic tapering there, so. This wrist looks slightly bigger, about 10 centimeters from joint to joint. So let's go ahead and make that mark at the five. And again, like this, and that's about one and a half, one and three quarters inches. Okay. All right. And push your hand out for me. And again, I'm just going to do measurements from um, point to point, and I'm um, just going to run through it. So if you have questions, let me know. But otherwise, I will. Let you know if anything comes up. And again, I'm just going to have you keep your hands closed as much as you can. I'm going to get from side to side here. And open it up. Just get that palm one more time. Get a little more extension on this side. Okay. And again, uh, nice and closed. Perfect. And nice and wide. Get the wrist. Twenty two and twenty one. Okay, so a little more tapering on this side. I'm just going to get a couple baseline measurements. Just getting right under the armpit here. Sorry for any ticklishness. 
a waste. Okay, just from top to bottom. symmetrical too. We get some basic measurements. Okay. So I'm just getting a circumference around the wrist itself in a couple of places. does taper from the forearm down to the hand as is expected. I'm just going to slide this just under your palm. Perfect. I'm going to have you do some range of motion and I'm going to measure that. So could you uh, put your hand up like that? Okay. And this is just to make sure you have enough room when you move your wrist. And you can relax. Let's make that motion one more time. Up like that. Okay. Okay, and then same thing but down. A little bit wider. Same thing down. Okay. And then to the side and side. So first that way. Uh, hold hold it right here, and then just move it that that way like that. And the other side to the right. Perfect. Those are symmetrical. Great. So I'm going to just start with some basic measurements. So I want you to sit nice and tall for me and get the full length. I'm just going to measure from shoulder to shoulder here, okay? And I'm just going to do one more um, right here. Okay. I'm going to get from the nape of your neck here down to uh, your waist. I'm going to measure it from this shoulder as well. Okay, so symmetrical side to side. I'm going to go around you fully. First at the neck. Okay, can you bend your head down for me? Okay, and bend it back for me. Okay, great. Getting the full range there as well. I'm going to need about three centimeters to four centimeters of slack there in the neck. Again, going around the shoulders here.
And could you um, lift your arm for me? I'm just going to get... Uh, no, no, I just relax. There we go. just want to get the circumference underneath the arm. Mid arm. 32. Forearm, 24. I'm just going to get all the way down as well from the shoulder. So again, just extend your arm out to the, there you go, perfect. I want to just have a couple of centimeters of room on that side for the sleeve. Same measurements on this side for you. Starting underneath. a touch of asymmetry there, but that is totally normal. Just moving that difference side to side. And Jeremy, I am going to have you just turn around for me on the stool, just swivel for me. Thank you. I'm going to get some measurements across the back now. Getting under the arms here. Getting some necktie measurements. And I'll have you um, just stand up for me for the rest of the measurements, and I'll just scoot this stool away. And just come forward a little bit there, perfect. And I'm going to get around the waist here. Around the hips. Okay. Now, Jeremy, I'm going to do just a quick check against some of these measurements while you're standing, especially for length. That's going to be the biggest thing that's going to change. Find balance between uh, the length of the suit being um, comfortable enough to cover everything while also not being so um, large that it bunches up when you're sitting. And just arms down to the side, nice and natural. I'm just going to measure to the middle finger here. Wonderful. I'm going to move down to the uh, bottom now, to the pants, and take some measurements there. So I'm just going to have you just pull this up here so I can get to the pants themselves. And just nice and loose like that. Thank you. Okay. And do you prefer... prefer um, a tight fitting on the bottom like you're wearing now, a tapered pant leg, or something a little flared, something straight? Something straighter, I think. Straighter. Okay. So a little less tapered than these, perhaps. Yeah. So let's get this measurement. I'm going to first just get the ankle itself. Okay, let me get 
what the current pant is as well. And if you remove your hands from your pockets, I'm just going to get down the side. Could you turn around for me, please? Okay, again, I'm going to do some circumference here, so I'm just going to get the hips and back side. And I'm going to get the circumference of the legs as well. I'm going to have you hold this right in the inseam there by the pant. Okay, and can you move to the other side? Thank you. And just last few here, Jeremy. Do you think you'll wear a shoe with any lift to it? Um, maybe just a tad. Okay. 